I'm constantly shocked at the number of men who are unknowingly applying, slathering, massaging, spraying, spritzing, all sorts of things of these chemicals on their skin near daily, expecting them to be good for their stank or supporting their skin or many other things, right? Because there's a lot of things in the industry, unfortunately, on the market today that should be illegal because they are loaded up with xenoestrogens, hormonal disruptors, things that are decreasing our testosterone, increasing our estrogen, and also just pure toxic crap. These are man-made ingredients, right? I'm not a fan of that. I used to do this when I was growing up and I'm over that now. I am now applying some natural wholesome ingredients that are revitalizing my skin, making it not only look good, but nourishing the skin microbiome. So we're gonna go into some things that are deleterious to your health and getting really specific on it. And also the things that are better alternatives for helping you up level that skin and glow. So you can go out on the streets and just be like, yeah, baby, looking good. So let's jump in. Hello friends, my name is Christian Van Camp, a holistic lifestyle and performance coach, biohacking hippie and nature enthusiast. I always start off with that intro, I just love it, because I have these three different whammies that I like to share with you guys. However, I'm a multi, multifaceted, multifactorial, never ending essence in this weird biological flesh, and so there's a lot of things that are going on here, up in my noggin and in my body at every single moment, just like you because you're another extension of me, right? All that being said, let's cut to the chase. Let's talk about things that are destroying your skin and things that you could do as alternatives that can support you with your skin health so you can not only have balanced hormones, but also on top of that, have glowing skin because they're truly fueling it from the inside out, right? So let's jump into the dirty dozen of cosmetics. So there's 12 different ingredients I want you to take note on that are extremely deleterious to your health. We got number one, which is BHA or BHT. And this is commonly found in many moisturizers, makeups, and on top of that preservatives, right? It's been shown to even cause cancer and have many deleterious effects to our endocrine system, which is our hormonal system. Uh, the next one is coal tar dyes, okay? This is indicated by the word p phenyl and a diamine, okay? Now, this is basically having F, D, and C number, whatever, blue, yellow, red, all these different weird chemical numbers, okay? They may be contaminated with heavy amounts of heavy metals and even cause that cancer and cognitive issues. So look out for these colorations, F, D, and C, blue, yellow, whatever. All those ones have been tracked and they have a track record of being very criminal based, right? We don't wanna mess with that stuff. D, E, A, M, E, A, or TEA related ingredients, right? This is used in a lot of the foaming products that kind of foam up and it's foam and it's great and it you know, smears on the skin awesomely. Uh, moisturizer, shampoos. Um, however, they may cause cancer. All these things I'm gonna mention to you pretty much cause cancer. And you may be applying it on a near daily basis and not even knowing what it is doing to your vessel and soul. It's making you live a weaker life, okay? We wanna be strong men here with high masculine energy and testosterone and just feeling vital, right? So watch out for those guys, DEA, MEA, TEA. Next we have number four is phthalates. So anything that's a phthalate, right? It has the word phthalate, it's a weird word, but a lot of this stuff is found in many of the products we're using, a lot of the soaps, shampoos, and things that we use even in our um, laundry detergents. So just be careful for the phthalates in general. You know what? I'm just gonna mention the main ones you can look for because I don't even wanna go through the dirty 12. You can look through the, the dirty dozen of the uh, cosmetics if you'd like. Just look it up online, you'll find it. I'm just gonna stick to the basics you can look for. Parabens, look out for parabens. This one has been proven to be an endocrine disruptor. It's been shown to boost your estrogen. It's a xenoestrogen, right? It's been shown to destroy your overall testosterone. We have parfumes or anything with fragrance. Fragrances, cut those out, don't use those, right? Um, even ones that may be advertised as unscented may have some fragrances in it, right? PEG compounds, look up for PEG compounds. Those are also things to stay away from. They're proven to cause issues with cancer. Propylene glycol is another one that can be uh, labeled as. Anything with petroleums, we have sodium laureth, uh, sulfates, so sulfates stay away from as well. Those are the foaming agents, uh, really disgusting. And triclosins, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. If, you, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please comment below. Antibacterial stuff and toothpaste cleaners, antiperspirants, all this stuff, okay? So let's get into the nitty gritty because these things are absolutely disgusting. And let's understand that your skin has a microbiome just like your gut does, right? Same with your mouth. It all has a microbiome, these bacteria that can either feed you in a good way or we can destroy them through applying, eating crappy foods and things like that. Your skin is a reflection of your gut. So all the things I'm gonna to provide to you today with applications, natural applications that are really good for your skin, they're gonna help. 
but what really helps is addressing the gut health, right? Fixing up that gut wall, sealing up the tight junctions of the gut, on top of that supporting your microbiome, right? Because if you have anything like eczema, rosacea, acne, you're getting wrinkles or you bruise easily, anything along those lines, that is because your gut microbiome, nine times out of 10, is suffering. All autoimmune disorders go back into the gut. Hippocrates over 2,000 years ago said all disease starts in the gut. It's super apparent and it's very true. So if you need help with gut health, please reach out to me. I will help you out on Instagram at CVC Wellness. Comment below, I will help you out. Book a free call with me. We'll go over where you're at and I can support you any way I can holistically with nutrition. No bogus and we'll keep it fun. So your skin is a microbiome. It absorbs everything you apply on it pretty much. Uh, there's many layers, the epidermis, you have the dermis, you have uh, the glands, you have the hair follicles. So we're absorbing things pretty much on a daily basis. So be very conscious of what you're touching, right? So let's get into things that I use personally for overall skin health. Number one is extra virgin olive oil. It's delicious, it's good for your body inside when you internally take it, but it's also great for your skin. Loaded up in vitamin E, antioxidants, oleocanthal, many other things that can help you out with your skin and rejuvenation of it. Healthy fatty acid profile, it's amazing. So you can apply olive oil, it gets a little expensive, but just get some good extra virgin olive oil, apply it to the skin all over after showers. I massage in my body after showers. I shower every three to four days usually because I don't think you guys need to shower every day either unless you're sweating super hard, go for it. But all that being said, extra virgin olive oil is great for the skin, super jam-packed the nutrients. Another one I really enjoy for the body is coconut oil, virgin coconut oil. Healthy saturated fat, chock full of things that can support you with your overall skin health. It's really powerful and I apply it pretty often regularly on my skin and it feels really good and nourishing. So coconut oil, olive oil. Another one I really enjoy for the face and you can do this on the body as well, it's jojoba oil, J-O-J-O. BA, jojoba oil, super powerful. This one's amazing for the skin because it mimics the same production of sebum that your skin produces. So it's very easily absorbed and it's super powerful. I do it on my skin morning and night and it's so, so, uh, it just helps tremendously with my skin. Jojoba oil is a go-to, highly recommend getting a good cold pressed organic aloe vera, which is really good for the skin, loaded up in vitamins A, D, C, E, B12, it's anti-inflammatory, that's really helpful. Rosemary oil, I'm a huge fan of. It's also great for stimulating hair growth. So if you're having issues with your hair, rosemary oil, super powerful. Put it all over the hair. I sometimes put a little bit on my face with the jojoba oil, game changing right there. Feel free to apply a little bit of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar on the face as well. It can be great for tonifying the skin and overall cleansing the skin with the vitamin C, which is in the lemon, and the acidity can really help out with the, the overall ease and flow of your skin and the glow. You can do that once or twice a week if you like. If you're trying to get some pores cleaned out, play around with ground coffee. Do it once a week or so. Some organic ground coffee, preferably organic because you don't want any of the sprays and chemicals which is on the majority of coffee. So coffee is really good. I do that occasionally getting around the nose which sometimes we get blackheads on and just getting some of the depth of it, right? You can really scrub it in. Then I'll do maybe some lemon juice, smear that on, let that dry a little bit and then I'll play around with adding some of that jojoba oil and rosemary oil. That's my routine. Other than that, most of it starts with your gut, like I said. Brighten your skin naturally, remove all the toxic ingredients in your current arsenal if you have any in there. Be very conscious of this, it really can fuck you up long term. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss a beat on future videos coming out on at CVC Wellness. I'm all about rewilding our lifestyle so we can connect back to nature and feel vital as men on this crazy chaotic planet that's trying to emasculate us, right? We don't want to be that way. So I'll see you on the other side, guys.